What do you think about getting naked? Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. Thank you for stopping by. And a special thank you to everyone that showed up for my live stream broadcast of last week, which was a 4K subscriber celebration. Thanks so much for participating. If you have, if you haven't, go ahead and take a look at it. It's up for watching. And uh, there was a few technical issues, but we got through it and everyone was really generous. And I appreciate everyone that really helped make this channel grow that much to have a 4,000 subscriber community. All right, on to today's review. We have a blended scotch, the Naked Malt blended scotch whiskey. This is a 43% ABV whiskey. It is a blend of various malts, hence the name Naked Malt. And they use Oloroso sherry casks that are first fill, which is where they're saying the Naked name comes from. They used to be called Naked Grouse. You may remember that. Last year on Whiskey Day in May of 2021, they changed the name to Naked Malt. And I like the bottle better. I like the presentation better. I think it's a good idea to show the barrel because that's exactly what the name's coming from using first fill barrels. Now the malts that are in here, no clue what they are. Uh, natural coloring, no, probably not. Non-chill filtered, probably not. There's not a lot of information on that. This is not meant to be a high-end whiskey. This is a, I think I paid, well, I paid zero. This was a Flavier quarterly bottle that I got for free, but out there I can get it for 30 bucks at Total Wine in San Francisco. So not gonna break the bank, not the kind of whiskey that you have to worry about, costing too much. And on their website, they show a lot of different variations of whiskey sours, all the different types of ways that you can blend naked malt with other flavors and just have some nice mixed drinks. So this is really meant to be not necessarily a sipper that is a neat drink, but something that's used in mixed drinks. And sometimes you just wanna pour yourself a nice whiskey that tastes good, not too pricey, and maybe you're gonna use it with some ice or other mixers. Let's see what this one's gonna be like. Put some in the glass here. Now I like that they took some malts and put them together and first fill sherry casks, the Oloroso sherry casks, to give it a nice edge. I'm hoping that it gives me a flavor profile that I enjoy because I do like sherry finished whiskeys. And the nose on this is not what I expected. <laughs> I'm getting kind of a, uh, a wet cork smell and a little bit of, well there's maltiness in there but there's also that um, brininess. So I am very curious about where they're getting their malt from. If you have any clue about that, if you know anything about that, I'd certainly like to hear about that in the comments. Educate me, please. Now, it's only aged for six months in sherry cast, so it's not getting a lot of aging there. I don't know how much aging it got in the uh, original casks that these malts were aged in. Could be a good age for some of them, or could be pretty darn short for those as well. So let's see how it tastes. Now on the taste, I am getting some of the sherry notes. I'm getting a little bit of nuttiness and I'm getting some of the darker fruits, uh, raisins and dark chocolate. And I get a pretty good finish for this blended whiskey. So I'm actually enjoying the flavors of this. I would compare it to a little bit like Monkey Shoulder, which is one of those whiskeys that I point out in my uh, beginner scotch whiskey video. It has that same price point level and same kind of maltiness, but this one adds that sherry finish, which I am really kind of enjoying. And now on the nose, I'm getting a little bit of peppermint. That's interesting. After I took a taste, I, I immediately got some of the peppermint notes on the nose. And there's a little bit of uh, spiciness, a little bit of sour note there, but I don't think it's bad. I, I'm not having a problem with that because the sherry notes are taking over. I definitely think this isn't one of your uh, introspective whiskeys where you're going to sit there and ponder over it and figure out the great mysteries of the world because you're drinking a naked malt. But I do like the flavors of it by itself. I wouldn't mind if I had a $30 bottle of this or a free bottle of this. I don't know. 
I can see myself drinking this at night. It's affordable, it's comfortable to drink. Probably not my favorite flavors, but those sherry notes do give it enough of an edge that I'm actually enjoying this. And I don't make a lot of mixed drinks because, well, frankly, I'm just a lazy whiskey drinker. I prefer my neat. I rarely ever add water either. I just enjoy the flavor of whiskey without having to doctor it up too much. Maybe you're different. Tell me about your habits in the comments as well. Are you a neat drinker? Do you like to put some ice in your whiskey? Do you mix it with stuff? What do you mix it with? No, but I actually really am enjoying this. It's a nice flavor profile. I don't even mind that little sour note in there because I think it makes it more interesting. I am good with this. If you haven't tried this whiskey yet, I would say it's worth throwing 30 bucks at it. It's worth throwing 35 bucks at it. I wouldn't pay more than that for this whiskey. It's certainly not something that's going to rock your world, change your opinion of whiskey in general, but I am enjoying the sherry finish on this. And I think they did a good job of picking various malts for this bottle. It's got an interesting story behind it. If you go to their website, it's a lot of fun. Maybe you'd like to mix some of their drinks and try their various types of whiskey sours, the variations. I don't know. I'm pretty happy that I opened this bottle. I'm pretty happy that I picked it. And I uh, hope you had something to try as well while you're watching this. And until next episode, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. And cheers. Yeah. Worthwhile.